Hey, Ross, what do we got going on out here? This is the Founders Plaza. And one of the things that the Founders Plaza does is to pay homage to the city of Fort Worth uh, in the downtown street layouts in the 30s when the stadium was first built. So as the patrons come in, the big walking class, they'll see the names of the streets. Uh, oh, and then uh, this really kind of uh, represents the courthouse on the north end, and we surrounded it with our six founders uh, for the stadium. Uh, and then kind of over behind it, a little bit hard to see from this angle, is a representation of the Trinity River. And then we've actually got the GC and uh, Santa Fe Railroad that'll snake through uh, all the little pieces that helped uh, form Fort Worth back in the day. So we're bringing a piece of history of Fort Worth right in Amy Carter Stadium, we, right side of it. We think outside so. Of it. Yep. That's excellent. Very good. Frog subjects the last couple of months, 
the escalator. And I uh, got Ross here to talk about the escalator, where it's going to go, uh, who will it be able to accommodate, and what you have to do to get all the way up from the escalator. Uh, the escalator goes up to the club level, right, uh, and then deposits fans uh, on what would be the 200 level of seating, but if you're on the two end zones of 200, those are actually access, access to the vomitories. But uh, it will get them uh, halfway to the upper deck, uh, and then they've got a couple ramps to go to get to the 300 level. We've also got three or four elevators. We've got one elevator, it's a freight elevator, that if it's not being used for something else, will transport passengers. Uh, but any of those elevators uh, for fans that want to stand in line uh, can go up there. I'm. Uh, so for any for any people that need assistance getting up, elderly people that might have a hard time, anybody with uh, disabilities, such like that, the elevators will be very uh, somewhat convenient for them Elevator. to be able to access. If I understand to uh, Mr. Del Conte uh, that there will be four of them, and with the, including the freight elevator, and so uh, I think it's going to be a great great deal uh, as far as transporting people up. It certainly beats the old days of all the ramps up and down and uh, having to make the, the high hike up there. But this is the story, and you heard it straight from Ross Bailey here on KillerFrogs.com. Hey, Ross, what do we got up here on this wall? What's going on? Well, this is actually the, the, the visiting team post-game press conference. Uh, the logo was created uh, by our TCU graphics department, uh, Gorland Mar, and it's, it's designed to really pay tribute to the old 1930s uh, stuff once again uh, so the stadium has its own uh, its own logo but you know the visiting team doesn't bring their own press conference background we've got one for them so excellent excellent well let's not tell them too much we'd much rather have this one Ron Murphy was an old Southwest Conference football official when I first started, and we've always taken great care of the officials. And so he did us an original piece uh, that he then allowed us to blow up and uh, put on the wall just kind of for fun. And instead of this really being a, a chalkboard, it looks like we're going to have each each officiating crew take a, a silver sharpie and sign this ah. as as they come through. Excellent. So this is this is their lounge area. This is where they'll come together to eat and meet uh, right here in the middle. Then we've got so this is the hated zebras room, and then we take them over here to the bowler room over here and get rid of them if we don't like them. Is it? Ah, no. no, this is an auxiliary official. You got a uh, you got a guy whose dad was an old official, so I can't talk bad about it. Well, let's this do is that. the this is the women's. Uh, officials locker room uh, there's two females now calling games at the NCAA Division One level uh, and the new regulations call for you to to build them a space uh, if, if you're starting up if you're starting up there. here low in the bowels of the stadium here and uh, got three TV set up here monitors sink tables what goes on down here uh, we're some uh, probably 30 feet underground right here uh, this is really the becomes the emergency operations center for the entire campus so in the event of an emergency campus leaders could gather here uh, it'll have computer setups and extra telephones and all those kind of stuff where they can then manage any disaster uh, that would occur to the campus right. uh, in conjunction with the city. The city will have a, uh, their disaster team working downtown. Uh, we'd be responsible for the campus here. Uh, everything we can do just to en help ensure and manage the safety of uh, 
DC employees and students. Wow. Well, it's generally going to be colder in here than what it is. It's pretty cold in here. Uh, Ross, got ice makers. Looks like some kind of uh, storage area here. Uh, what's going on? It's colder in here. Freezer. This is the ice production room. Uh, and this, this place will will generate, uh, we think, all the ice uh, to support the stadium uh, and even support our sports medicine operation. So a uh, kind of an innovative space uh, that we think will uh, hopefully pay for itself in about a year and a half return on our investment. We'll bring in extra ice from time to time, especially for some of those early games. Uh, but uh, the plan is uh, for this room to, to take over all of our ice needs. Wow. And I guess we can rent one of these from TCU for our next KillerFrog.com party. We'll sell you some ice. Okay. Ross, this is a whole different dungeon than I've ever seen before. This isn't the dungeon we used to treat our visitors to. This is, uh, these are pretty nice digs for a, a visitor's locker room. But we asked Matt Lewis and David Gable, our uh, associate AD, I mean assistant AD for uh, equipment operations, Matt, and then David, our, our associate head trainer, what they wanted when they went on the road. Uh, and so we tried to take those wishes into consideration. And then we also uh, host the Armed Forces Bowl, uh, at least right. for the next two years. And so we wanted to, uh, meet the needs of those teams and knew how we used to have to split them into separate locker rooms so uh, we think we have we've set a new standard for uh, accommodations well this is absolutely nicer uh, you know I know it's changed a lot since my day but you've seen a lot of places and this is nicer than some people's home dressing rooms that I've seen probably is uh, but uh, you know we we really want to make it as nice on our visitors as we can so we bring them in here and love them up a little bit and we'll let Coach Patterson go, uh, go out there and take care, go of, take care of business. There you go. Something impressive. This is the uh, Champions Club, and, wow. uh, and it is—it's uh, very nice. Uh, I think it, it takes uh, the, the stadium club uh, to a new level, and uh, I think our, our 2,500 patients, our 2,500 patients, patrons that uh, that enjoy uh, that premium seat are really going to uh, have fun in this space. Uh, from you know. Food and beverage bars. Uh, well, you, just you to said, gather and talk. Well, you said patience, and that's kind of right. We're going to be taking great care of you. Here. Right. That's that's right. Like, that's right. You're going to feel like you're in the uh, creme de creme here. This is this is something like I've not seen. This uh, I know that we got to go to the uh, Reliant Stadium some years back on the bowl game, and this is seems to be even more immaculate, grander than than even that. This space is uh, is. Uh, very close to what you would have seen at Reliant. Right. Uh, we had the same architecture firm, so ah. those things kind of blended over, but the suites are up above. You see a lot of the Art Deco elements uh, down below. Uh, I know that everybody will be proud of it, and eventually this space will be opened by the university to uh, to rent uh, for different groups, weddings, receptions, those kind of things. Excellent. Well, it's something I... I'm proud of, and I'm sure everyone at TCU will be proud of. Y'all have done a tremendous job in here. Wow. Thanks for a great tour today, Ross. This has been impressive. Uh, we appreciate the inside look. We appreciate everything you and what TCU is doing uh, to continue to make this a great institution it is. Uh, on behalf of me and my partner, Wes Phelan, for you guys that have not got Wes on today, he's been taking pictures left and right, and, uh, and all of us at Killer Frogs, go Horn Frogs. That's right, go Frogs. Go Frogs. <laughs>